on YouTube oh, for the last Harley that I'm going to ride. I'm so excited for this one. I got the 2022 Lowrider S. Oh, holy event to get on this freaking bad dog, man. I call this the bad dog. Shoot. Like just, oh, so much black. I freaking love this bike, man. 2022 Lowrider S. I mean, what what can I say other than freaking 117, dog? <laughs> oh, I better get on it. Yep, we're about to start. All right, all this. Yep, look at this. Look at this finish. I'm telling you, I'm going to act like a freaking salesman on this review because I love this motorcycle. It's going to be the last bike I ride this demo event and I am I am ready. Let's do this. Let's turn her on. Ooh. Oh man, she is brand new. She's fired up. Oh, I'm excited. Woo! All right, so seating position. Now, I'm gonna be honest, man. The seat feels real good, real cushioned, but the foot pegs are high. Woo! Yeah, these foot pegs, for some reason, they sit high. I don't know if, uh, I'm not too sure if you can, uh, you know, make them a little lower, but I don't think so. I think they kind of just sit the way they are. So, yeah, very interesting foot peg height they look cool they look cool the way they sit on the bike other than the freaking motorcycle itself is like just killer i mean killer and with the 117 i don't know about y'all but oh yeah Ooh. Okay, I'm officially speechless. <laughs> this thing can go. My goodness, you know, all all day people have been telling me, no, man, no. You need to get on that lowrider S, cause that 117, I'm telling you, it pretty much it does blow away the 114, and I couldn't believe it till now. Golly, the torque is. Uh, I think that's the biggest uh, noticeable difference. This thing definitely punches. I mean, yeah, this engine pulls. Wow. Sorry, I, I just I had to uh, talk about talk about this engine, man. It really is the highlight of this motorcycle. All right, let's let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh what the heck is going on gosh dang it um so let's do this all right 2022 lowrider s comes with a blacked out and i mean uh blacked out milwaukee 8 blacked out milwaukee a 117 engine has an aggressive riding position which i touched on it really really does uh inverted front fork which the whole point of that is to add add to the performance of the bike and and definitely you know right off the bat you you feel you feel these uh these differences um and all for the better honestly i mean at least in my opinion yeah inverted front fork and reduced rake this bike as you can tell had it it really has an overall blacked out styling and uh, comes with a little speed screen, which really just m adds to the terrific sportiness, sporty look of the of the motorcycle, and and just really makes it stand out. And uh, dude, I cannot get enough of this engine. Guys, if y'all get a chance, go and ride 
the lowrider S. This 117 is. It's so cool, man. <laughs> Woo! Just too much fun, man. Just too much fun. It's a freaking hot tamale. Oh, yo, yo, me gusta mucho esta moto. It's freaking awesome, man. Um, all right, I gotta continue with the review. So it comes in vivid black and gunship gray. $400 color option is this right here. And I mean, honestly, I, I would just I would just pay the money and, and, and get this because just a terrific, unique color. I mean, I'm a big fan. I mean, I don't know, maybe y'all don't like gray, but. Whoa, it, it, and it also sounds different. This 117, it sounds different. It it, 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 it like pops a little bit more. If you're looking for a torquey Harley, you gotta check out the Lowrider S. This, I mean, this thing can go, I, I just can't say it enough. Oi, oi, oi. So, so cool. Just the, the, the little things that, that they do really makes the bike you know stand out just just awesome just overall awesome machine right here all right that dude just smoked me y'all y'all tell us that we can't drive like that <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man, but if you go out and you, and you buy this bike, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to regret it. Straight up. Just trade it in. Just trade in your truck and just, just, just make the switch, man. Just get this. Become a biker if you're not one. Get a freaking lowrider S. You know, this is a type of bike that, like, if you're, like, a single dude, you know, partially, you know, a little bit of a loser, bro, this bike, man, it's going to make you a, a pers uh, it's going to make you a, a very well-equipped bachelor. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, you're not careful. You'll freaking fall off this bike. Dude, how does Harley make their machines... Oh my gosh, man. I hope y'all don't hate on me for laughing so much, but it's just too much fun. All right, let's let's get let's get to the most important part. Hit me with it. How, how much how much is this motorcycle? So, you know, it, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but um yeah, you're looking at 18,800 you know, with this color option. Without hesitation, I can say that this bike is is worth it. You know, it's a Harley Davidson. You got to just start off with that. You have a Harley, most popular brand in America, maybe the world. Not too sure, but uh, you definitely get one of the fastest, for sure. If not the fastest bike, I actually wish I knew. You know what's Harley's fastest bike in 2022? I know the Pan Am is pretty quick, and then there's a Sportster S, which I can't believe they don't have. I'm so pissed, but whatever. You know, Sportster S and like the Lowrider S. I mean, some of your quicker machines that Harley offers. Yeah, you know, a good 20 grand for this motorcycle, and so who's gonna buy it? Well, I'll tell you one thing, this thing has a lot of power. If you're looking for something with a lot of power, if you're looking for a Harley with a lot of speed and torque and, and, and just, you know, ABS and uh, Harley uh, Davidson security system is standard. Like I said, the power 
it's pretty intense. <laughs> yes, this is my type of bike, guys. I mean, honestly, like, I, I genuinely enjoy a powerful engine. Something that is almost impossible to get tired of. And uh, I'm just going to say Harley nailed it. Incredible 117 engine. I mean, dang. just love it overall what's my final verdict there's definitely a lot of goodies in this machine if you if you know you buy this bike you're not gonna regret it and what's cool is that you know real quick this thing actually offers a little bit of you know wind protection like on your chest not really your head your head still gets a good amount of uh, wind blast but uh, this speed screen it, it, it's actually not just for uh, you know appearance purposes. It actually blocks a little bit of wind. Just wanted to mention that. Uh, finishing the video, you know, would I buy this bike? If 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 the day came where I absolutely was gonna buy a Harley, it would definitely be between this and the Sportster S. Now I haven't driven the Sportster S. So that's why I can't really make that decision, but you know, I do like the Fat Bob also, but this one takes the cake, man. You know, such a neutral, comfortable seating position. This bike just wants to go. I mean, it, it wants you to like push it. And, and it, it really performs well during all types of acceleration. It's overall a pretty comfortable machine. The seat is very spongy. I like it. I mean, yeah, guys, I, I I don't know what else to say. You know, I really I really hope y'all, you know, enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all think of the Lowrider S. You got any questions that I didn't really touch on? Yeah, I really like that. Like, it, it just feels like glued to the pavement. It's more of a it's more of a safety thing, but yeah, it feels very very planted, man. I like that, especially with with you know the torque that it has. Last thing you want to do is like be spinning out left and right. I mean, that defeats the purpose of having a, a powerful bike if the rear tire just spins out easily. And I haven't felt any slippage at all. Really, really, really like that. That's definitely a, you know, I'd give it an A plus on that. Lowrider S, definitely a, one of Harley's better machines. I mean, there you have it, guys. 2022 Lowrider S just can't say enough of it the highlight of the bike you know it the 117 baby it's a bad dog right here bad dog but yeah really hope y'all enjoyed the lowrider s guys i appreciate all the support you know if you enjoyed the bike please hit that like button i uh i thank y'all you know taking taking some time out of your day to check out my video on this machine and uh yeah gosh just just too much fun guys honestly oh yeah really glad I saved I saved this one for last this is just crazy <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy love the fun right here oh I thoroughly enjoyed this demo event thank you thank you thank you Harley it's always a blast you know there's nothing better than the smell of, of brand new and my GoPro's battery is about to die perfect timing because this video is coming to an end lowrider s guys excellent machine go go and check it out seriously i mean dang why do i feel so cool i feel so cool like i'm not a cool guy but just being on this i, I just feel 
I feel a little bit more confident. You know what I mean? Man, can I... I need to ask him. Can I borrow this for, you know... We go see if I can, uh... Get some reactions from people? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. I mean, honestly, all the machines, like... I just don't have freaking... I don't have enough time to ride all these. But, yeah, as you can tell... Harley continues to to bring some uh, some eye-catching powerful machines you know good job Harley you know you got to keep you got to keep that fan base that that you got to keep them customers coming you know a lot of people buy them so like I guess you can't say they're overpriced because if they were no one would buy them right uh, I had a lot of fun Anyways, guys, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Again, 2022 Lowrider S and the Bucks. A, a, an ultimate machine right here. Really glad I got a, got a chance to ride it. Ugh. Man. Till next time, guys. Till next time.